all right y'all so welcome back to the channel what's been going on hopefully everything has been going really good for you guys um i'm actually cooking right now so let me try to come in a little closer That might work, but then you can't see what I'm doing. But anyway, um, one of the one of our um, fancy beauties had a question, and she was wanting to know because she's a, she's a nana like myself, so um, she has a picky eater on her hands, and I had a picky eater on my hands too um, and that would be AJ so I'm going to bring him in a little bit later okay I'm doing a video right now baby and I'm cooking so I need you to stay in that in that office okay I'll be done in a minute you know Nana don't like you in the kitchen when I'm cooking You'll get some juice at dinner time. Whew. Three years old, man. <laughs> Three years old. So anyway, um, can, AJ, can you turn that down some? Thank you. I mean, loud enough so you can hear it. So, um, so anyway, yeah, AJ was the picky eater. And so I just had to go through, um, uh, first finding out what his favorite food was. Um, did that. And then, you know, once once we once he got of a certain age then i would um have him to just try different things and i would do uh like a bargaining uh type of deal with him so i'll be like um okay if you try this uh, i'll give you a quarter or something like that you know just something something like that and that's pretty much how we kind of um went about getting him more exposed because he like fried chicken french fries chicken nuggets that was it pizza maybe so um yeah i just start introducing him to uh different foods so tonight we're having one of his favorites and mine we having some shrimp so I'm just um, peeling it. I got the uh, uh -oh. I got the great value um, extra large so, oh, easy peel, and it is. It's pretty easy to peel these. But yeah, this is one of his favorite. I could cook this every single day, and he would not mind. And I'm like that too. That's um, that's TT. Talk to TT. Just swipe up. There you go. Alright. So, um. So, yeah. So, that's pretty much how, how we did that. And then, once uh, my, uh, which is on the phone now, uh, my friend and the one that cared for them when I was working um, before all this crap happened to me um she's jamaican so we introduced him to that food as well and so now you know he does bake baked potatoes um shrimp steak um ham uh and if it's something uh he even tried you guys saw that he even tried the uh oysters 
And so he he ended up liking it. So once I got him in the habit of just pretty much saying, you know what, baby, you never know. And it was just that line right there. Baby, you never know if you like something if you don't try it. That the old age, um, that old age saying, yeah, that's what I did to get him to try new things. But um, let me take a break, you guys, and I'm going to come back and let him talk to you about um, how he perceived it to go down. So I'll be back with that later. All right, I'm up. All right, y'all, so this is what we got. Some shrimp. And this is tilapia, and I just took some bacon and uh, let the bacon cook over that tilapia. This that's the first time I ever did that, so that was a uh, uh, yeah. Let me try that moment. <laughs> so um, let's go over here, and we're gonna go ahead and get. Everything set up. Welcome to our little bistro. This is our little bistro. This is how we sit at the table every night. <laughs> so, let's see. Um, Because y'all got to talk to AJ. Alright, 
So, um, tell, tell your fancy family how <laughs> you start venturing out and trying new new dishes and new types of food. Put the fork down. Just say what. Like, how did it? How did you? Like when when I said, okay, AJ, you gonna try this tilapia for the first time, and you was like, uh, uh. you remember? Mm -hmm. All right. So when you get past that part, how did you get past that part and say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna try something different and see if I like it or not. So how did you get there? Because. I just thought it was gonna taste good. Okay. So, what, whatever you know. Time to see. You just felt like it was time for a change, or? Yeah, I felt like it was time for a change. Okay. And then some things you didn't like, and some things you did, right? Mm -hmm. So what would you say to um, someone that is a picky eater like you? How, what would you, what advice would you give them to let them know it's okay? Um, just say, try something new. And is it the, what was holding you back from trying that, that new thing? The salt, I think. Sour apples? No, like the shrimp. Remember, because you didn't like shrimp. And I said, AJ, try the shrimp. Well, if I taste, I tasted it before, and then I liked it. I liked the shrimp because mm -hmm. I tasted it before. Okay, so would you tell them just don't be afraid, just try it? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fair. Um, all right, we got to um, say grace before we eat, but I wanted to just come through here. Here, we'll say grace real quick. Hold on. Thank you, God, for this food. Amen. Amen. So, yeah, we just wanted to come through and see if we can kind of help you. But the type of foods he eat, he like macaroni and cheese. Um, no, no. I'll do it. Uh, macaroni and cheese, that's all you need. Macaroni and cheese, he likes carrots. Yeah, but sometimes I don't want to eat them. Yeah. He does not like bananas. He used to like bananas, but now he, he does not like bananas. Um, sometimes he likes pineapples, sometimes he don't. Um, he likes greens. Cabbage, chicken, of course. You don't want that? I eat it. I eat it. It's more here, baby. It's okay. Eat what's on your plate first, though. He he just wants his drink and I said no. Alright. Here, baby. Eat your food. Now they got this. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, just eat. Yeah, drink a little. You guys want, um, oh, even like sour cream. That was a big challenge for him. Because he was like, mm mm. And then I used to sneak, um, like when I made a, a bologna sandwich or hot dogs, I would sneak a little bit of uh, mayonnaise on his bread. Because <laughs> he don't like, uh, he don't like mayonnaise, mustard, or ketchup. No barbecue. But now he's uh, into barbecue uh, chicken and things like that. And, and barbecue ribs. He likes barbecue ribs too. But just keep encouraging them. That's the only, that's the only advice that I can give um, from one nana to another. Is to just keep trying. Um, make those bargains. You know, if it's something that, that she likes, that she really, really likes, um, like I did with AJ with the money, the quarter, you know. And so he just eventually started um, trusting the fact that, hey.
hey, you know what? It might be good. Nana has not steered me wrong yet. So, um, but yeah, I wish you all the best um, on that journey because it can be. Whoo, whoo, whoo. But now we at a we at a place where it's, we give and take. So we working it all out. And I'm not sure if it's cold. So okay, I'll warm it up. So I will talk to you, fancy beauties and bows, later. Um, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give us a like on the video. Share it. Cause why? Because maybe somebody else is in the same position. All right, guys, so I will talk to you later. Stay safe. Stay positive. Stay safe. Stay positive. Stay prayed up. Stay focused on God. Stay off the floor because having temper tantrums ain't going to get you nowhere. Jamari, stay with me and stay fancy. <laughs> Y'all, look at their plate. They just went back in for seconds. That that salmon and um bacon dish, y'all. Who, baby, baby? You might want to go ahead and make that. Mm-hmm. Give that to your husband or your wife. Whew. They gonna love you forever. <laughs> it was really good, y'all. It was really good. Yeah. But that's why I just came back over here on here to tell y'all that. <laughs>